Close your eyes and take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. And focus your attention on how the breathing feels. Watch it for a while. Stay with each breath all the way in, all the way out. And you begin to get a sense of what kind of breathing feels good. If you run around, come back, run around, come back, you don't really get a sense of this. So stay with the breath continually. And if long breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't, you can change. It's a nice thing about the breath. You can make it long or short, heavy or light, fast or slow, deep or shallow. Try to see what kind of breathing feels good for the body right now. Give this your full attention. As for the world outside, just let it go. The sound of the birds, the sound of the planes. That's the least of it. Your thoughts about the world, that's the big problem. Just let them go for the time being. Because what does the world have to offer? It has material gain and then it has loss. Status, loss of status. Praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. That's it. Those are the qualities of the world. And you can ask yourself, can you depend on any of those for your true happiness? We want happiness out of them. We want nothing but gain and status and praise and pleasure. But as you may have noticed, these things come in pairs. Wherever there's gain, there's going to be loss. Wherever there's status, there's going to be loss of status. People who have mouths to praise you can also use those mouths to criticize you. You have no control over them. As for pleasures and pains, we've all seen them. They come and go, come and go, back and forth, back and forth. And if you try to base your happiness on these things, you're in for a big disappointment. That's why the Buddha has you look inside, right here at the breath, because we're going to look for happiness in the mind. We have to give, a place, <clears throat> give the mind a place to settle in so you can watch it. Because when you're with the breath, you know you're in the present moment. Your awareness is right here, and you begin to watch what's going on right here. You can see the mind move around as it wants to leave the breath. You say, nope, bring it back. Sometimes it leaves without asking permission, without even letting you be aware. And all of a sudden you find yourself someplace else, not realizing where you were. Well, that's a sign that your mindfulness and alertness were not very strong. So you have to keep strengthening them. It's like the muscles of your body. If you don't use them, they get weak. So you use your mindfulness. Keep reminding yourself to stay with the breath. Be alert. How does it feel right now? What are you doing right now? What are the results you're getting right now? And be ardent in doing this well. Give it your full attention. It's like putting sunlight on a plant. If the plant doesn't get much sunlight, it's not going to grow. But if you give your awareness to the breath, again, that can develop in all kinds of good things good directions. So stay right here for the time being. Let the world go by. It spins around. Wherever there's loss, there's going to be gain again. Wherever there's loss of status, there's going to be status again. And you begin to wonder, what, why pin your hopes on these things? Because they're going to come and go, come and go. You want something that comes and stays. And when you learn how to train the mind, you can teach it how to stay. It's like training a dog. Stay, and the dog obeys. In the beginning, of course, we know what dogs are like. They don't take to training very well. But after a while, they begin to see that there's an advantage to being obedient. Well, your mind is smarter than, not smarter than a dog. It should see there's a lot of advantage to being here, settling in, watching yourself. Because otherwise, as the Buddha said, we do things in ignorance, and then we suffer. We breathe in ignorance. We think in ignorance. It's like taking your tools and going down in the basement and turning off the light hammering away, sawing away, without being able to see what you're doing. Turn on the light. Keep the light on. Then you can figure out what needs to be hit with a hammer. Then you put it down when it's done its work. What needs to be sawed with a saw, you can use it, and you can get a use out of it. So bring the light of your attention to your breath right here, right now. Bring it to your thinking right here, right now. For the time being, let all your thinking be about the breath. Any other thoughts, you can let them go. That way, when you do these things in the light of day, in the light of your awareness, then instead of becoming a, another cause of suffering, they actually become part of the path away from suffering. So try to be as alert as you can right here. 
Make sure you practice this every day. So alertness becomes stronger. Your mindfulness becomes stronger because you use them. And you learn how to use them well. <laughs>